Yo, what up? It's Ann Moses, and this is my, this is like my first mukbang. I've done mukbangs before, but I never really considered them mukbangs. But we got my county spread, man. So what you do is watch that last video and see how I made it. But you got to cook two packs of ramen noodles, drain the water out, put the pickle, hot spicy pickle juice in. Okay, you gotta put jelly on the beef jerky, put some some tuna in there, and I don't know, just watch that last video, man. But I just cut up these pickles, man, and they go, it helped the texture, the moisture and all of that, but... A lot of people ask me about my diet. And yes, I am a vegan, vegetarian, whatever you want to call me. Am I a pres Presbyterian or whatever it is when you eat fish, but you don't eat any other meat and you only eat vegetables? No. But at the same time, bro, I just had a craving, man. It's not like I'm gonna die from eating a little bit of tuna and some beef jerky. Like, mm. This is really good, bro. <laughs> this is really good. But when do I learn how to make this? I learned how to make it in the second time I went to county, but I really perfected the recipe the last time because I didn't, well, number one, I didn't have a microwave until the last time I went to county. That's the second, that's the, that's the last time I had access to a microwave. Mm. Secret is you have to this is a bad you have to I see I put I gotta mix this. You gotta make sure it's a good I don't know why they call it dip exactly, but you gotta make sure because this is not. I think it's because it has that consistency. But you have to make sure that you put the seasoning in at the right time. That's the that's what I messed up on. Number one. Number two, you gotta you gotta pick the right chips. Number three, you gotta put the right amount of cheese in it, and you gotta use the spicy cheese. And then number four, the most imp one of the most important parts, bro, how I perfected this, you have to put jelly on your beef jerky and heat it, bro, crush it. This is serious, bro. And some people like to put corn in it. But you gotta mix it up. You have to mix it up real nice, too. A lot of people like to put it in a container and shake it up. But most people don't make spreads by themselves. I mean, most people don't, most people don't make dip by themselves so they don't have to use up all their ingredients. Um, in Cook County, I don't know how they do in other jails, but in Cook County, you can only spend a hundred dollars a week. Um, somebody who went to prison, obviously, showed me how to make this the perfect way. And they only go to the store once a month, which is very sad, whatever prison he was in, but they let you spend 
up to like, I think he said like $500 or something like that. And then if you work your way up, you can work in the commissary room because all their, a lot of their commissary is on hand. Instead of um, in Cook County where I was, they, uh, my bad guys, I know you want to see the food go inside my mouth. I just got to make sure this is mixed correctly. They pay people from the world that are a part of some kind of the organization that distributes the uh, the actual commissary, they pay them. But depending on what deck you are on, the level at least, you might see them or you might not. Um, most of the decks, I've only been on minimum once. Um, and that was the first time I was in a dorm. So we had a, we had a lot of people that were actually really messed up criminals. But I guess they had a low threat level or something like that, but... Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, this is gonna get you full, bro. I only had like four bites of this before I made this video. But... There was people on the deck that was in there for armed robberies, burglaries, kidnapping, um, multiple pistol cases, multiple dope cases, gun charges. Um, we had a person in there that was on there. It had to be like his fifth or sixth domestic because he already went to jail. He already went to prison for a domestic, which is sad, bro, because he was the biggest person in there. Muscle wise. Uh -uh, bro. Why can you not stop fighting women, bro? I read him energetically. I'm oh, sorry. Bro. Seventy percent of the dudes in here aren't gonna fight you. Why are you putting your hands on women, bro? I don't get it. That's just how some people are. But that's just how he did. I think he had a, um, a pistol case at some point. Cause he went to the joint twice, right? Prison and before, this is his third time. Definitely probably went to prison. Um, he went to prison for domestic violence, and in Chicago, I believe the third time, because I know the first time it's like the first time I think it's mandatory two weeks, then the second time I think it's like 30 days, then the fourth time I think it's 90 days. I mean, the third time I think okay, the first time I think it's like mandatory two weeks. And then the second time, I think it's 30 days. The third time is 90 days. And I think the fourth domestic violence case you have is a felony. So he's done this at least four times. And he probably didn't get like an aggravated domestic battery because I don't think that's a charge. I think they would just call it aggravated battery or aggravated assault or something like that. Um... But, uh, 
was saying. Mm. You was too big to be beating up on females, so. I'm not saying. Obviously, I'm not saying that. There's a size that's acceptable. As long as you're 125 pounds, you could beat these women up. I'm not saying that. But for him to be a bodybuilder, swole built type of person, that's the last person that should have been beating up on females. And then he was probably not skinny when he got his first domestic violence charge. He might have been. I don't know. He could have been skinny as me and just decided to, you know, be about that swole life when he went to the joint. I don't know. I don't really care. The fact that he did it again when he was this high, I mean, this size, he didn't get that swole with the knowledge and the information and the size that he was in six months. That didn't happen. So the fact that she, whether whether he was swollen or not, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, guys, the spread, <clears throat> the dip, the spread, whatever you want to call it, is delicious. It is delicious. I'm about to smack that. I'm probably gonna eat that for breakfast tomorrow. I'm probably just gonna put that in the refrigerator, drink these couple beers. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, and the. The crazy thing about that was, <clears throat> I was his celly, <laughs> little alone me, but all I did was sleep and read the Bible and meditate, and people knew I was about that magic, so they tended to stay away from me except for one person. He really wanted me to express what I was capable of on him, for whatever reason, um, but yeah, bro. I don't I don't watch mukbangs because that's just not my steez. So I don't know how good of a job I did. I don't know if people talk or they just eat or whatever. But anyways, bro, if you want to know how to make that spread, that dip I just made, I just call I'm just call it a spread. If you want to know what how to make that dip I just made, you go to my last video, obviously, and see the brilliance. And if this video uploads before the video. <laughs> And I'm making, you just use your smarts. You're smart. You're smart. You came this far and trust that you can find the video that I uh, made about how to make that beautiful concoction that I learned how to make in the most amazing jail in all of America, Cook County Jail. It's better than LA County. It's better than Maricopa County. It's better than, it's better than Fulton. Cab, King County, Rikers. I don't even know if King County has a jail, but if they did, I'm sure Cook County would be better than that jail. It's better than Lake County. It's better than McLean County. It's better than um, 201. It's better than um, a Duval County Jail. It's better than all those counties. Dade County, Cook County is the best. If you want to go to jail, and learn a lot of things about a lot of bad stuff and be traumatized and get PTSD and get misplaced when you're supposed to be in a minimum um, jail deck. They accidentally put you in the maximum jail deck with people that have multiple bodies and, and things like that. <clears throat> Definitely go to Cook County Jail. If you want to gain seven pounds in 30 days and see people get and see broomsticks go in places where they're not supposed to go then definitely go to Cook County Jail. Facts. Facts. If you want to smell what a flesh smells like I'm going to go there. If you want to if you want to have mice and roaches and eat bologna sandwiches like a lot. If you love bologna, that's the number one thing I want you to get from this video. If you love bologna, go to Cook County Jail. That's a fact. You can get a job in the kitchen. They will pay you 25 cents an hour and give you an extra bologna sandwich and all the peanut butter you can eat. And get this, an extra breakfast tray. And... 
facts. Your dinner's facts. Facts. That's a fact. And they let you play with the police dogs. It's so fun. All right. That's it. The same emotions. On the band, you the mind. We the mind together. Man, life is in that breath. Breathe it in. Peace. Skrrr.